went to purchase something on Craigslist, and it went terribly bad. <laughs> and it reminded me of a time that I tried to purchase my first car with my first money on Craigslist, and it also went terribly bad. So with that, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I will be speaking to you today on how to purchase a vehicle on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> So, with anything, with uh, whatever you want to purchase, uh, you got to do your research, find out what you want, then when you find out what you want, then you go to look at it, and then finally, you purchase it. So with that, the research, this is probably the most important part of purchasing a car. So, make sure you find out what you want. Um, and maybe what kind of market you're in, so maybe the price range. Um, with that, make sure you look at what condition the, 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 the car is in. So usually they'll say like it's a clean title or a salvage title. And with that, you could you could get a car fax or when you look at the title, you'll see in that very top corner, it'll say salvage, junk, branded or prior taxi or police car. And that's really important because it'll tell you some of the history the car has had. Uh, also, uh, take into consideration that people drive a car around 10,000 miles each year. So if the car is from, for example, 1999 and it has 50,000 miles, it won't make any sense. So it'll, it could mean that they maybe messed with the miles and, and changed them, so that, that's important. And with that, once you have all the facts about the car you want to purchase, then you've gone Kelly Blue Book, it's a, it's a website, and they'll tell you around how much the car should be worth. So that's also really important. And once you have an idea of how much the car is worth, what car you want, and you've narrowed it down to maybe a couple cars that you like on Craigslist, then it's when you contact the seller. And then a lot of people like to text how it is and email, and which is fine. But it, when you speak to people via text, you don't really get to experience the personality of the person. So I would recommend you pick up the phone if there's a number listed, if there's no number listed. Maybe you should walk away or <laughs> find something else. But see if they seem honest. Are they rude? And ask them questions. Ask them if the car needs some repair. If, uh, if how long they have the car, or where they get it from, and and go from there. And then once you once you have an idea of the car, then uh, then uh, maybe schedule a time and place to go look at it. They, uh, a lot of people like to do Starbucks, go meet at the Starbucks on certain streets and, and meet there, which is probably the safest bet. You don't want to meet somebody in the back of a Target, <laughs> <laughs> which would be terrible, or a dark alley somewhere. Oh, um, so when you take a look at the car, it's, it's also really important <laughs> that you look at every single little, little thing that you can find. It's hard for people if they don't know anything about cars. So I would recommend take a friend. And if you know a mechanic, take a mechanic with you. Or you could uh, arrange a meeting at your local shop or your mechanic. So it's important to not be shy when purchasing a car because it's something that it's gonna stay with you for who, who knows how long. And it's probably a huge investment. So I would recommend you go in there, turn on the radio, turn it off, turn on the AC, turn on the heater, turn on the windshield wiper, put the windows up and down, pop the <laughs> trunk, pop the hood, look at everything, and make sure everything works. If, it's, if everything seems okay, go in there in the car, take a look, see if anything's leaking, see if anything's rattling. And then something I like to do is that I like to ask the person to take me on a drive and then I watch them how they drive the car. So I'll see when they turn it on, are they, uh, are they just mean and angry and drive it like there's no <laughs> tomorrow? Or, 
or are they kind with it? So if they're kind with it, then I'll, it'll give me a better feel on purchasing the car. And then make sure you take it on the freeway. It's important. Uh, what else? So finally, when you're going to purchase a car, uh, most people want cash, and that's probably fine. But make sure you do it at, during the daylight. Don't go at night. Don't go when it's raining. And one of the most important, or one of the most difficult things as, as young adults is purchasing a car. Because very often we don't know what to look for, we don't know what we're looking for. So, with that, I think the most important thing, or the second most important thing that you have, is is uh, having patience. Because uh, you can find a car today, or you can find a car tomorrow, or you can find a car the other the next day. There's going to be plenty of cars, so just make sure you're patient when you go out and purchase a car on on Craigslist. And with that, I, I hope uh, my speech has been somewhat valuable to you guys. And if you guys are going to purchase a car and need some advice or something, let me know and I'll help you guys out. Thank and uh, thank you. Very good.